here I am at Deptford High Street and it used to be called Butt Lane and it was residential. Of course now it's just mainly shops. I'm just going to have a look at some of the buildings down here that might be a bit interesting of times gone by. And the first one is this beauty here. Just stop because I don't, obviously don't want to get run over. So this is Trickett's Tea and Coffee Colonial Shop or Warehouse and you can see it says Trickett's 1889. And here is quite glorious with the bowed front and the ionic columns at the entrance would have probably been a very grand house in its day. Now housing the pound shop. Lots of pubs have been converted into other uses. So here's the old Red Lion and Wheat Sheaf. This building used to be the old Marks and Spencer. And this one, Caxton House, used to be a ladies school in the 1820s to the 1860s and you can still see it is called Caxton House. On this corner, if you come down, there's still the sign to the World War II air raid shelter. Henry VIII had a full English breakfast on this site. I could do with a full English breakfast. Can't see it though. <laughs> Junction here on Giffin Street used to be the site of a fun fair, which was closed down in 1961. So I'm just going along Douglas Street. The Albany is now an arts community, but in 1894 it was built to help with uh, the welfare of poor people. Well, the art and murals are pretty spectacular. This is Deptford station and it was the first passenger railway station and it has these viaducts with these arches which were unsuitable for housing but uh, they are now um, converted into little shops and you can see that it's an incline to put rolling stock onto the rails. So it goes all the way down. So that would be how they got the rolling stock up onto the railway. Clever, isn't it? Here we go, a nice little sign. The Deptford Station Carriage Ramp, completed in November 1835 to provide access for the London and Greenwich Railway first railway line. The carriage ramp and adjoining viaduct are Grade 2 listed. And it is quite magnificent. I'm going to pretend that I'm a rolling stock. <laughs> Probably not as exciting as I thought it would be. Like Thomas the Tank Engine. And you can picture the rest of the scene. Chug a chug chug. All the way up to the railway line. 
This was a Quaker meeting house which was demolished in 1807 but Peter the Great, the Tsar of Russia, came here and there's a little plaque right up at the top that says as much. If you can believe it, this house at number 150 is the oldest house in Deptford and it was built in about 1680 and number 152, its neighbour, was bombed and demolished in the Second World War and rebuilt to look like the replica of the original in the 1990s. So at St Paul's Courtyard we're going to go into just have a look at St Paul's Church which is one of the new churches built in 1713 and it replaced the market gardens and five small houses. So now I'm coming out at the other side onto Deptford Church Street which used to be the main road of Deptford but now really is just a thoroughfare for traffic and across the road used to be the almshouses This is very unpleasant now, I'll have you know so I won't video much of this We'll get, get to the fun bit. Now I've turned into Albury Street. It used to be called Union Street. Oh, cute. And along here are houses that were built the ship's captains, so we'll just have a look at some of these. These were built in 1707 by Thomas Lucas for sea captains. And they are quite lovely. I mean, that is a well-worn stair, if I ever saw. White Swan Hotel. Looking a little bit worse for wear. Swan, number 227 was built in 1791 and used to be a bakery for most of its life. So now I'm going to turn down Watergate Street which is obviously going towards the creek and it's where the former Deptford Dockyard ran alongside. At the very end the Master Shipwright's House of 1708 is just visible here. This is where Deptford Docks would be. And then here is Payne's Paper Wharf, which is now the China UK Cultural Experience Centre. This used to be the site of the Ferranti Power Station in 1889, and before that, it was the East India Company. I wonder if anyone knows that they're living on an old power station site walked up this this would have all been the site of the power station and then across the road here St Nicholas house is where all the workers would live who worked for the power station we've got St Nicholas church which is the original parish church of Deptford and it was restored after being damaged by bombs in 1958 that tower looks really old here we go the ancient parish church of Deptford has stood here on this site since the 12th century The 
Look at the amazing skull and crossbones on the gates of the church. So Rachel and Margaret Macmillan were sisters and they did a lot for the education of people in Deptford and this is the nursery school that they set up, the original one. Still standing. And unfortunately the cottage where they lived I think has been demolished and here it is Deptford Creek it was originally deep ford uh, and the creek came from the Ravensbourne River and Henry VIII had a shipbuilding dockyard Peter the Great came over to learn about shipbuilding here in Deptford. It was where everything set off sail, uh, including Francis Drake. He did his three-year round-the-world circumnavigation from Deptford. So this is where everything happened. Well, not everything, but ship-wise. This would have been so busy... ships coming in all of the buildings around here would have been purely to supply the ships with food etc and here we go here is the statue of Peter the Great It's exceptionally tall. I think it was quite short. So he stayed here in January 1698 and stayed at Sir John's Evelyn's house for four months. And this is right near the Royal Shipyard where he studied the English science of shipbuilding. Oh, you are adorable. <laughs> That's how my face would be looking if I was just about to be shot off the cannon. Big love for the NHS here. So this is the Creekside Centre. And the gates are designed by Heather Burrell. Really lovely. So this is the railway viaduct, the old derelict lifting bridge that used to carry the railway across the creek, which is here. And this new pedestrian bridge used to, has replaced the old one, which was called Half Penny Hatch, because you used to have to pay half a penny toll to walk across. You don't have to anymore. I mean, the other thing, I think, you know, 